All right, are we back? Claims that we're live. I don't see it. Hit the play button. You see me again. Okay, good to know. We don't see ourselves. No, wait. I still see myself. Um, I don't see myself on the screen. Horseshoe crabs as well. Horseshoe crabs are so have such rigid bodies. Not underneath. But, I mean, they have a tail, and they have a few. Well, they have their, their legs, but they're short, and they're underneath the shell. Yeah. This is interesting. Uh, Darkwing Angel says reloaded, thinks it's, it's good now. Let me try reloading and see if that makes it good for me. Hey, there I see myself now. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay. So, back to parts you have here. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're looking at horseshoe crabs for potential inspiration here. This is interesting to me. What a weird straight line goes across the other back. Shane, what are you doing? I guess that's the bin point. Okay, some of that stuffing is there to keep the colossus covered, so be careful. Yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah, so few love things the design in nature are straight. Yeah. And I guess it's only straight from a certain angle, uh, directly from above, but... Oh, look at this pretty thing. Hmm. wonder if that's I a baby? I didn't know they came that way. It might be a baby. Yeah, I don't know what was going on. Okay, yeah, look at these little feet. I love how they do something different than just go into a scythe. I think I, like, these ones on the back, they seem to have almost flower petal looking fingers. Help, help them, flip them over. Flip them over! Help! Um, Michelle is saying hi to you and says Pepper also hears you. <laughs> so say hi to Pepper. Hello Pepper, be a good girl. Really interesting feet. Uh, I like that. Um, add that to my list of things I don't see often is uh, fingers. Probably not human fingers, but some kind. Of thing. Uh, what's another neat crab that you can think of? You, you, we looked at box crabs, you looked at king crabs, you looked well, at how about, spider uh, crabs. about coconut, coconut crabs? Oh yeah, those guys are cool. So beautiful. Yeah, there's ones that are bright blue. Oh, these guys. Oh! I want to say those are the those are the um, biggest crabs, uh, uh, um, weight-wise, I think I read that. I don't know. It looks like that's in a mangrove swamp. Yeah.
Okay, eating a bird? So I could... Oh! <laughs> Caught a bird! Oh, I bet it was proud of itself that day. Okay, so it's got... It's got a kind, kind of a lobstery tail, tail under, which is interesting. That will fit into a groove in its uh, and thorax. Yeah. Um, it also has a very turtle shell looking uh, breakup of the of the top carapace here, which is interesting. Well, corrugation is stronger than smooth. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think if there's a good way to make these guys not be just crab monsters. Right. Um, what element can we combine with them to pull them away from, you know, just a different shape of the same crab monster you've seen over and over again? Well, I suppose the structure of the mouth could be different. Instead of petty palps that pull food into the mouth, yeah, um, it could have a more uh, crocodilian mouth, or softer, um, like a catfish-like mouth, or something like that. Um, if it, you know, yeah, the problem with the crocodile mouth is they can't chew. Yeah, it can only break off and swallow whole. So w one thing crabs and lobster and I, I think all crustaceans have in common is that they're armored all over. Yes. Um, so one thing we could do is, is bring it more turtle-like where it's got a hard shell on top like a horseshoe crab and can fold up into a ball uh, but the the rest of its body is so more the legs would be soft and then, yeah it's more then, soft. well, then well you don't get those wonderful long chitin supported legs yeah no i'm thinking i'm thinking more core body okay and and you know face and mouth maybe being more um so armadillo yeah, maybe something like that. What is a what is a soft-bodied sea creature? Uh, I, like I'm thinking of all the deep ones, you know, deep-dwelling creatures that are all just terrifying-looking. Um, you mean like anglerfish? Yeah, but what, what's a what's a creature that lives in that depth that isn't just gross and terrifying-looking? Well, <laughs> that's that's what they look like. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, deep sea fish. Uh, let's just I mean, you've got you've got the gulpers with the with the jaws that can unhinge completely. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm thinking of something that's pretty, you know, not disgusting and disturbing, but also can makes sense to be in the deep. Oh, this, see, this is interesting. This is ostensibly kind of a soft, a soft-bodied creature. What, what type is it? Is that a remora? Is that with the sucker on it so that it, it hangs onto the shark skin? Or? I don't know. I, I doubt it because it's very, very deep sea. Oh, right. You know, go back up to that Venus flytrap. That's kind of an interesting structure. Which one? Oh, I thought I saw a Venus flytrap. Did I make that up? I must have made that up. I saw something to quit. There oh, it this is. this one? Yeah. Well, that's not a Venus flytrap. That's a, that's a clam. Um, I think it's a clam. What is that? Sea anemone. Venus flytrap, sea anemone. Well, there you go. Well, now that would be interesting. <laughs> so 
So that that's that's an interesting um, way to do soft bodied surrounded by harder stuff. Um, yeah, I, I think just in general. But what is that? I don't know. I wish they came with more captioning on them. Go to the website. I might say. Uh, I guess we have to go down. And... Prom, prom, ac okay, promacatus to the sulcus, which I guess that tells me there is no common name. Squid with human teeth. Okay. So it's distinguishing features are morphological. Fusion between head and mantle. Let's see a video of it. You gotta love a video that's just still images. Still the whole thing when you see it. That's sort of a, a fascinating... Um, yeah, it's very disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay. I mean, it looks like it's got its guts just sort of held in between sides and there's no. nothing protecting it from wow okay why don't you do some just just do some google searches for any crabs or sea creatures or anything else and i'm just going to start doing some kind of some um what is the word i'm looking for uh I don't know. profile work oh by the way you should, you should see this this these little guys I made, I was on a trip with my son, and I took a picture of this rock formation, which... Oh! Oh, and that's, and then you turned them into yeah, that. They just look like, <laughs> they look like... Are those the, to, is that the gnomes? Uh, the uh, Goblin Valley. Goblin Valley, is, okay. Which I think was in Utah. Hey, there's something called a vampire crab. I was going to put a vampire squid, but nope, what does nice. a vampire crab look like? Oh, beautiful <laughs> colors. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hilarious eyes. Why are they called vampires? I like this one. Purple with yellow eyes. Purple, indigo, and yellow. Yeah, this is fun. Wikipedia say that I guess Wikipedia doesn't have anything that's called specifically vampire crap. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. I wanted the vampire squid anyway. because they look delicious. Ah, 
sure. Oh. That's pretty creepy. So the inside is all clawed. Mm -hmm. And I've got a cape. The umbrella. Webbed tentacles. That's really interesting. It also has those little ears. Which my ears, of course. Uh, squid bat. Yeah, you take your, you delete the um, bat face, the real bat face of the vampire, and put on some incredible oh, effects, fantasy ears, and then the squid mouth oh. thing. It's an interesting thing to do. I don't know how how aerodynamic that would be. And what are we looking at here? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's like a gopher fish. Provided their stomach doesn't burst, they can swallow almost any size. <laughs> and its little light attractor is on the end of its tail. <laughs> Which strikes me as, as inept. I mean, obviously it survives, but... Maybe it swims with this little light in front of it all the time? Might dangle its tail in front of its mouth when it's still and hunting or something. I don't know. They remind them more bizarre. Um, I, I don't know how they have any jaw strength to. Uh, you know, what is that hinge anchored to so that um, it, could, it could close on its, its prey? Yeah, it seems like it would be easy to break. Although most of its prey, I imagine, is probably very soft-bodied as well. Sarcastic fringe head, yeah. I've um, researched those guys before.
with those uh, creatures from the uh, Pacific Rim. Or from... Oh wait, we've been saying Pacific Rim, and I meant, I meant. You mean the pill bags into the rocks in the front of your house? No. Uh, what's the movie with where it's got the Statue of Liberty head knocked off? And there's a big kaiju monster destroying New York, and it's a guy with a it's camcorder that, running around. Oh, is that a, a Godzilla remake? No. It's a J.J. Abrams. Uh, I think it was Abrams. Wow. Just can't think of what that's called. No. Out of the blue. Anyway. Um, Cloverfield. Oh, my God. Yeah. Cloverfield. I thought Cloverfield was just a horror movie. No, it's a it's a big monster movie attacking New York, but it's got it's got a bunch of parasites on the big creature that fall off, and then they terrorize oh. the, the people on the ground while oh. the big thing is. So would I hate buildings. that movie, or would I enjoy it? Um, I don't know. Is it as scary yeah. as Pan's Labyrinth? Which I still am not forgiving you for telling me it was a great movie. That was a great movie. Um, oh, I'm sure it was. I don't think it's as scary. It's got a scary moment or two, but it's not. Well, I found it absolutely terrifying. No, I mean um, Cloverfield. It's, oh, Cloverfield. It's more spectacle than, oh, than okay. horror. It's not. I could maybe handle it. Oh, I made a creature. I invented a creature for you that was yeah. on the shepherd ship that's a little bit like this. The, the captain looks... Like okay. This, yeah. The, the derelict captain who ends up getting banished to Telephone. Yeah. To watch over the Gridian because he needs to do that so bad. Right. He's got the, the transparent cranium with eyeballs inside of it. Yeah. He considers it, uh, well, he sees the brain as a, he considers it the window to the soul. Right. So his people think it's beautiful. Field, a bunch of home videos style thing. Yeah, it's all shot on one guy's camcorder as they're running around with his group of friends trying to survive and find other friends and such. Okay, they're actually called tentacles. Huh? Ah, there you go. For some reason, I thought they had another name because they aren't like, uh, you know, octopus tentacles. Dangly strings. They. Hmm. Wondering if we gave them kind of a snail-like uh, neck and head that could retract in and out. Snail slash turtle. Okay. Might be interesting. So what are you going to do for the mouth structure? I don't know yet. I'm still. I'm. Just want to think about general I think, shape. I think the mouth structures, of, and I've used it because I find them so terrifying, of snails, uh, you know, with their radula. Rag I mean, that'd be such a nasty way to be eaten. Jaw and then a bunch of little spiky radular teeth. Yeah, so what they do it is... It gets grinded they, over like yeah, a washboard? Yeah, they, they sandpaper their food. <laughs> huh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't want these guys to be scary. Oh. 
No, oh, we're not looking for scary things. No, I, I was I was looking for deep sea stuff just because I wanted to see what soft body deep underwater stuff ah, can okay, look like. Okay. Well, they mostly look like white tubes. You know, the th the things that live around smokers. Um, deep sea soft. Go back arrow. Uh, it opened it in a new in a new page. So if you just close it, it'll be the page behind. Ah. Ah. Oh, okay. For some reason, I was seeing this is shell and this is mouth. But it's folded under legs. Yeah. It's got a clear shell. Oh, is that what's going on? Okay, it's not soft, it's just translucent. Yeah, very interesting. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be the eye. Yeah. Hmm. They developed a. Oh! Sea enemies cover their soft belly. They pull back and forth the anemone's tissue to cover their soft bodies and heads whenever necessary. Much like I think it. So that, oh, that, that poor sea anemone got all stretched to cover it. Isn't, covered that, isn't that fascinating? Huh. Used another animal as a, as a jacket. Yeah! Huh. They're, they're a form of hermit crab, but they use sea anemones. Hermit crabs can make interesting noises. Noises? With uh, their claws or something? Um, I think the article I read about it said they don't know how they make the noise. And I thought, how could it be they don't know how they make the noise? But that would surprise me. There's a lot of bad journalism on the internet. There that could just mean I was too lazy to actually ask any real scientists, <laughs> marine biologists, and I couldn't find it on the Wikipedia. Therefore, scientists don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite possible. How do I make the sound loud? Oh, you would have to. Oh. Did you have it coming from speakers? Could, could they hear it? Yeah. I don't know where to put it. My microphone is here. No. Oh, <laughs> it's know. hard for a deaf person to hear, you know? No. Oh, no. I'll just assume they heard that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, how about cute sea creatures? Well, I know that one little tiny ki kind of squid is. We don't have any sentient creatures that have radial symmetry, correct? Um, I don't think so. Well, you, you mean like starfish? Yeah. Like cucumber, sea cucumbers? Yeah. I'm wondering, I mean, these guys might be an interesting candidate to be radial, radially symmetrical. Oh. 
one of your, I, when I made the list, I said somebody would have had radial symmetry. Maybe it was them. Oh, I like pufferfish. They have the cutest mouths. Yeah, and they can bite off your finger. <laughs> Are there animals who have radial symmetry who also have heads? Okay. Well, the, the octopus. Okay. Is the octopus truly radial you symmetry? Mean, you mean completely the same on all, all around? Uh, well, what exists in nature? Uh, I, 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 so I guess it means there's a spectrum of radial symmetry. A starfish is completely right. Okay, I see what you're saying. And then I mean, those does, does that it are have almost radial, right. but they'll have one does extra it, long arm? Or... Does it have organs uh, that are not reproduced in each of its? You know, if you right, right, cut it up into those pieces well, where they all be identical. The the octopus actually has. Uh, most of its brain in its arms. Yeah, they're distributed. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know how that works. I want to explore this idea because that would definitely make them unique amongst uh, okay. sea creatures and most most creature designs I see. Yeah, if they could have a soft head that comes out of the middle of some kind of sand dollarish shell. Okay, we have uh, jellyfish, sea anemones, coral, starfish, sea urchin, sea cucumber. I know there's more. I know there's more. Hey, thanks, Herrero, for subscribing. Don't know if that was on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, ribbon worms. Let me drive for one spiders? Quick spiders don't have radial symmetry. Uh, do the legs coming out of the thorax not count? Well, that's bilateral symmetry, not radial. Oh, I said, I'm sorry, I, I clicked on bilateral instead of radial. I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing. Sorry, I, I need to find this okay. thing. I could never remember where it is, even though. Oh, here it is. Okay, I put it here so I would always see it. Okay. Alejandro Herrero subscribed on the YouTubes. Thank you for that, Alejandro. Okay, you can drive now. Somebody says Kappa 100, Kappa 100. <laughs> you know, the Kappas are interesting. Uh, the Japanese um, uh, creature. They, they steal the, children and women. The little turtle-like, uh, sort of turtley forest creatures. You know. Well, no, they're 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 river creatures. River creatures. That's right. Okay, so I said the wrong thing. I wanted radial symmetry. So, um, okay, well, uh, that's that's basically yeah, the jellyfish and enemies, goals. What's a kindotherm? What's it? What's a, a kinoderm? Oh, uh, uh, the Darien. Uh, those are okay. Those are the um, they're they're all the types of jellyfish. You know, most we mostly think of the bell with the hanging dangling tentacles as jellyfish, but there's other kinds of jellyfish as well. Okay. And so. Uh, the Nidarians are, are the group that include all the jellyfishes. Gotcha. Um, and then, when a thing is radially symmetrical, uh, that number can be anything, right? It could be four, it could be. Well, five. like sea stars, could it be they, three? They, they go up to 40. Yeah. Um, are there any three tri? Tri lateral. Uh, Let's see. I'm not thinking of any, and I'm not sure even how to ask the question. Just try, type tri, trilateral symmetry. There you go. Oh. Animals. So, like one oh, there you go. All right. See what I know. Uh, it, hmm.
trilobozoa, three lobed animals. They're extinct. And there they are. Kind of they, look like they sand look dollars. Like, they, they look like they were a type of sand dollar. Huh. So, there were at one time. I'm gonna, I, I, I think I want to explore this path. This seems really interesting to me. Um, if, if you had a, a trilateral creature with a head that pops out of the middle and could have these little uh, very so a, a fine little bit like the, the puppeteers in Larry Niven's books. Yeah, uh, take uh, that up. I want to see that. Oh, the puppeteers? Yeah. Okay. I I love them. Uh, let's see. I also we need to look at the creatures in. Um, Arrival, which are pretty much just the RNA duplication uh, uh, What are those things? Not cells. Uh, well, did you go to images? You have to, you have to specify image source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So hit back. That did, that did that's not back, that's close. <laughs> yeah, but that's how I got back before. That's because you clicked on an image to go to. Alright, alright. that one creature I designed a long, I think that's why we don't ago. have to worry too much about um, trying to describe so closely that they see exactly what we meant. I yeah. Mean, for, for like the audio book where there isn't a visual. Um, because everybody's going to form their own ideas anyway. Here we go. This is this is what I thought of they were. Funny looking thing. Okay. Um, type in uh, aliens from the arrival. Oh, those were those had seven. I loved arrival. Yeah, that was one of the best sci-fi movies in many, many years. What, what is the what is the name of that thing that marches along and codes the DNA? Yeah, it uses the RNA to to replicate DNA. I think that's exactly what those things are shaped like. But I can't. I, what is that? Is it a protein? Oh, you're, okay. You're talking about the the protein that mediates the RNA. I think so. Okay. Well, actually, RNA is the one that, that travels along Maybe it literally the, is the RNA. DNA to produce proteins. Usually in illustrations of it. I'm thinking of something else. But I, I swear I've seen that thing in, you know, it is... A big green ball with the little tiny yellow things that are traveling the DNA. And that's supposed to be an illustration of RNA doing its yeah, work? Maybe. Maybe it was something else. Uh, yeah, I, I can't recall exactly. But anyway, this is this is a very interesting uh, 
the direction we go. Let's see how many fingers do we have. Yeah, it's it's not the number I'm concerned with. I was just looking ah, at yeah. the overall shape of it. Uh, okay, the the palm had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fingers, but we, I only count six on the large creature. But it's hard to tell if there might not be more behind them. Yeah. They, they kept them so fuzzy so we wouldn't see them completely. I think my friend Peter worked on some of the concepts for the aliens in the movie. Oh, yeah, actually, I know he did. Um, and environment stuff, too. Yeah, it's funny because um, I got so annoyed at the movie and I came out and I was complaining about this and I was complaining about that and how it didn't make any sense and, and how it, uh, uh, you know, it had neat parts but it just, it didn't make sense and so it wasn't until the next day, as I was driving along, I suddenly went, "Oh!" Yeah, you, you, you got the epiphany. <laughs> I got <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Usually, I'm not that dim when it comes to movies, but that one took me an entire day to decipher. And well then done. I thought, "This was absolutely brilliant." Mm -hmm. So if the if they march along and they can kind of, you know, their little sand dollar body and they march along with their legs like this. Mm -hmm. Instead of with Sivy on the bottom the way sand dollars do. And the part that wants to talk to people, it's got the little head and it rises up here and it's got little arms, to, you know, its, its claws up there so it's got legs it's got arms it's got mm -hmm. kind of a torso ish thing with a head with eyes and that would be what they see above the water okay so what is the neck made of is the neck flexible or is that's what it... i'm thinking i'm thinking of like tube worms and and other um so it, it could suck its head and eyes down into the tube of its rigid neck uh I was thinking it could pull everything down into here. Well, in that case, then the neck will need to be flexible, or not? Yeah, so. that's why I said two points. Well, yeah, you did. But I didn't two points are flexible. Were, right? I'm trying. Yeah, I know, oh, but okay. the, the tube that they're in. I was trying to think: do they suck into the tube, or you say the tube and everything sucks into the body? Yeah. So, okay. Well, to the point that their arms could fold up box crab like and cover up okay okay so i think their 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 primary um enemy would be uh, uh tear jaws and carnivore sharks you know because the carnivore sharks can grab them with their arms mm -hmm. and yeah Try to tear at them um and that way if they put their their spiky urchin you know, garden around them. They've got this whole, this whole, you know, surface area to, to decorate okay. and, and protect. And they could have defensive stuff, offensive stuff, uh, beautiful stuff, whatever they, whatever they want. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to explore this uh, in more detail. Um, I think that's a, ah. that's a really exciting direction. What if they use uh, cold sea anemones on like, like uh, food? <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can use them like that at all. You can use them like uh, boxing gloves <laughs> and brass knuckles. <laughs>
Well, that's uh, this one crab. That's exactly what this uh, one guy was doing. Uh, yeah, that he was waving those sea anemones. Yeah, and we, like, they look like uh, cheerleader pom poms. Yeah, what were they called? De decorated crabs? Decorated crabs, yeah. <laughs> this one is, is hilarious, too. It shows these. Oh, that's not I thought that was a cartoon. Is that real? I believe so. Yeah. I, I don't know if he's grooming with it or trying to put it on as going. a hat or trying to eat it. Who knows? Might be scrape you off something. <laughs> Oh wow, that is so cool. Oh, oh, make that lie, you. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, really the neat. Food up to see an enemy. And what I what I love about about this direction is you can yeah you can have all sorts of stuff piled up on there and just have it be this moving platter of you know useful beautiful things, and if it's got its little manipulator hands up here, it could do all sorts of neat stuff with yeah, that. Yeah, it could grab off the poisonous thing and stab it into people. Mm-hmm. A little, oh, there's the pom pom one. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> and there he is with googly eyes. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, I think this has been a very, very good, uh, profitable meeting that we've had, brainstorming this idea. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, remember, if you want to know anything more about what we're doing, uh, this is this is a great place to go. Is to breathoflifeart.com. Uh, soon to be renamed Breath of Life Something Else. Dot com. <laughs> we'll find out soon. I thought it was Breath of Life Art that time. It's Breath of Life Art. Oh, okay, com. okay. You, you yeah. did say art. Right, I missed it. I, I have to put the very long pause between life and art. Y yes, I, yes. Un I understand that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm. I think I'm leaning towards development. I really there's development's good. There's so many things about development that that grabbed me. I think about personal development, I think about spiritual development, I think about cultural development, mm -hmm. I think about and story development. Yeah, and you're developing a world here. Yeah. I hope everybody understands this is like first draft. Yes. They may be changed as Josh comes up with cooler images. Mm -hmm. They may be changed as people point out deleterious things about what we thought was cool. That's the big one. That's what I'm most excited about with developing an IP from scratch on the internet with all of you guys involved. I want to hear the things that George, well, Disney doesn't want to hear and the Tolkien estate doesn't want to hear and uh, what's, what's the author of Harry Potter uh, oh. <laughs> that she doesn't want to hear. None of those people are ever going to pay attention to you when you say, hey, this wouldn't work because X. I will. We will. We'll be like, oh, thank you for pointing that out. We're going to change it now. Maybe. Uh, uh, maybe. Assuming it's unless legitimate. The, unless the person who's pointing it out is an idiot. Well, sometimes oh, that happens. I'm sorry. We shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. Some people are idiots. But, uh, yeah, giving, giving everyone a fair shot. We will give you a fair <laughs> shot. We will read it. We will yes. think about it. So that's really exciting to me is, is developing this uh, with, with a community helping out and feeling some ownership of, of the direction that things are going. And uh, yeah, so that's super fun. I wish, I wish when I was at any point, anyone came to me and was like, hey, you're an expert in this. What do you think of this for my world? And I would 
it's just super fun talking about that kind of stuff. So anyway, it's available. Some people might think that uh, we're trying to to steal ideas from people or take advantage, and that is that is not my heart at all. If your ideas are precious, you keep them to yourself. Yeah. This is just hey, if anyone wants to contribute, we we love it. We love cooperating. So anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us, and I think. That will be our stream for today. I'll be back on Wednesday, and who knows, maybe, maybe I'll have uh, an initial uh, prettier um, design for the schlack by then. Uh, we'll see, and we'll go from there. So. All right. Then. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.